Hello and welcome to UM News. I'm John Allen. And I'm Andrea Dobbins. Almost 30,000 people in Montana hold medical marijuana cards, and some of those people are UM students. I took a look at the rules surrounding medical marijuana on campus. The Montana Medical Marijuana Program has generated $31.7 million since legalization in 2004. 20% of Montana green card holders fall between the ages of 18 and 25. This student, who wants to remain anonymous, applied for a medical card his freshman year of college due to chronic stomach pain. Okay, but I was having these like really weird stomach issues where I'd wake up in the morning and I'd just like throw up. Like I was just, I don't know, I'd just be so sick for some reason. It was honestly, I feel like it was really like stress related and I was also super sleep deprived. But he cannot use weed on campus. The University of Montana has zero tolerance policy. Students can be busted for using pot on campus, but if they are a card holder, no charges would be filed. The director of UM's financial aid, Kent McCowan, said students cannot lose financial aid simply for being card holders, but if they are convicted of a drug charge, their aid could be suspended. But I also do feel that I'm using it in a medical like manner, I'm not just, I don't know, I'm, I, I very rarely drink, I'm not just out, like trying to party or anything, like it's, I don't know, like I actually am using it in a way that I think is helpful to me. Cannabis use, medical or otherwise, is strictly banned on and around campus. Reporting for UM News, I'm Andrea Dobbins. Gallatin County has the largest number of registered card holders, followed by Yellowstone County and Missoula. President Seth Bodner celebrated his inauguration in a non-traditional way. Bodner wanted the celebration to be about the community involvement with a series of events throughout the weekend. Bodner says this non-traditional celebration was for the people of Missoula. Antonians Cachola generously served the Lation ceremony. We always acknowledge it. Marking this leadership transition, I and our team decided that we wanted this inauguration not to be about one person but to, to highlight the collective impact of this university. The, the presidential medallion passed from president to president is to be worn at all. Bodner was officially sworn in as the 19th president of the University of Montana. For more information on our stories, check out umnews.jour.umt.edu. Thanks for watching and have a great week.